Hi guys, so here I have my beautiful lemon lime mar maranta that I absolutely adore. But as you can see, it's kind of like, it kind of needs a taller pot. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to pop this up in a taller pot. I think I'm going to place it in here, depending on its roots. So... Let me just move you guys more down. Bear with me one second. Okay, so here's the pot. Just gonna move around it. I mean, squeeze around the pot. Okay, oh, there it goes. There it goes. I don't want to break the roots. So I'm going to leave it like that, and, and um, yeah, I'm pretty happy, woohoo! Now, so I'm going to still use the same soil, I'm going to actually bury some, I'll take some out, and let's see if I just, no, I don't want to remove too much, but I think we're good here. I think we're good. Hey, babe. Okay. Okay. Stop at, at um, when you're potting up a Maranta. So if you guys can let me know down below. But I'm just going to stop it here. This would be a, a node. Um, it's not really being covered by um, the soil it's the soil ends right right from the bottom where it begins so I don't know if that's gonna do anything um, but yeah that's it I'm really happy it looks much much more secure this pot in here um, just to give it a little more pizzazz and it's a definitely a great length a uh, height um, but I'm going to go water it. And this is it, guys. I love, I love, love, love these plants. Um, I'm going to look if I can see uh, for the red maranta. Or, um, I'm not crazy about the ravigated one. Um, but if I come across it um, and the price is good, I think I might purchase it. Because these are absolutely wonderful. They grow and they're a beautiful... Um, their leaves are absolutely beautiful and the fact that they go up they close at night and they open during the day is just just beautiful I love these these are great I keep them I definitely keep their soil on the moist side but if um, if I miss a couple of days it's definitely forgiving but not for um, a long time compared to other plants um, Definitely do not take care of it as a um, pothos. I would say almost more like um, a calathea. Um, they like to be moist. Um, and uh, I usually keep it in a indirect bright area. Um, but it, uh, I've kept it in a low lit area, but it hasn't been for um, a long time. So I really can't tell you how well they do in New York in lower lit areas because I do keep it in a bright and direct area as I have mentioned. But they're really good. Um, I haven't had no problem with uh, humidity. The problem as all Marantas have is that if you give them tap water, they will yellow around the corners. Um, so if you can, try not to give them water from the faucet. What you can do is you can um, leave water out for a day and then use that water to water it or what I tend to do is um, I usually have water left over from the night before from making a tea so that water is um, pretty much what I use to water my plants that need um, distilled I think is the word watering but these are really easy and oh, they're so, so beautiful. Look at this. 
so beautiful. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this short video. And um, if you can, grab one because they would um, just make the space you put it in just come to life. They are absolutely beautiful plants. Bye, guys.